so I'm going to be talking about this obnoxious little girl that followed me everywhere around Great Wolf Lodge for, I think it was three days? Yeah, three days. And... Wait, when did this happen? Um, I can't remember, but it was a few... It was... It's kind of a new story, but... Yeah, um, so she was following me around everywhere I went. And when, she was a creepy stalker child. When I, when she lost, and she followed me around so much, she lost her parents. I mean, I helped her find her parents, and when I found her parents, she followed me again and lost her parents and went down a slide. And it was called the tornado, right? And, yeah, and. I was tall enough to ride it, but I was just over an inch, so I was just able to ride it. She was like thi this much smaller than me, and, like this much, this much smaller than me, and she went down the tornado, and she's not even allowed to. Wait, did the lifeguard try to stop her? Yeah, and and she just didn't get a buoy, and she just went right down. And she, and when she got out, she had a big scrape on her leg and, and a bump on her head. She must have got beaten up. I mean, I feel bad for that poor girl. Uh -huh. And she was like a toddler. She would not listen to me. I would be like, come on, let's go find your parents. And she'd be like, <laughs> and I would be like, listen to me, listen to me. And she was just. Why'd you mess it up? She was just so annoying. I was like, okay, I'm done. Where's your parents? I might call, I might tell my parents to get security. And then the security, next- Security, security, bonk, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> um, and so Definitely when I woke up the next day, she, and I got out of my, um, my hotel, hotel she came right up to me and was like and then she followed me around the entire hotel and I started running as fast as I could and it's almost like she was teleporting to did me. you try to hide from her yes I went under I went to f four feet underneath the pool and she stayed and she got in the wave pool, and she almost got knocked over. Oh. She she almost drowned. Actually, she went to f five feet, and she almost drowned herself. I'm glad I was there to help her. I mean, we were right by the ladder. I had to catch her under the feet and push her up. Lifeguard. Did you swim in there? Wait, were there any lifeguards there? There was a lifeguard right beside me. Did he try to save her? I who I pushed her up because he wasn't seeing this, and the lifeguard holding onto the ladder grabbed her hands mm -hmm. and helped her up. She was choking on water. Was this like your first experience of doing that? Like yes. saving a life. Yes. She saved a life. She, okay, so shout out to all the savages out there. So yeah, you like my tattoo? It's a dragon. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I went, and when I went to bed again. I was like, Ooh, this was this is gonna be a hard three days." What if she was like peering and, in the window? That would be creepy. And when I woke up the next day, she, her nose was this far from the door. She and she knocked on the door, and I opened it, and I was like, "Hey, what are you doing here?" And she was like, "I lost my parents." And then I was like, "Well, Again? yeah." And then, um. So she followed me all around Great Wolf Lodge with my mom and dad, and they called the police, and they figured out her parents left and forgot all about her because they didn't even have her the entire time, and when they finally got her back, dang, she was, she was, her parents sun, be savages? She was sunburnt from mm. head to toe. To toe. To, to, toe. <laughs> to toe. Are you are you thinking and, about pizza right now? <laughs> yes. And um we just had pizza if you don't know. And she and then when her parents left I, again, okay, she was right behind okay. me for
forgot about her parents, okay. went and she slept in our cabin. Okay. Our cabin. And she didn't leave. She just yeah, she snuck in, Kellen. She slept with me. And then she got okay, out at like 5 in the morning. And I was like, oh, this little girl. Ugh, I need to get rid of her. And when, when I went 911 again, when I'm they talking, were like, you're... oh, my goodness. What? The same little girl that lost her parents yesterday. Ooh. When I'm and then talking, when I, and oh when God. I got... And so when I went to go get Dippin' Dots, my mom and dad paid for her to get Dippin' Dots because she was getting a little sad that her parents were gone. Mm-hmm. And so Dang. it's all our fault. Her parents be savages. They Stop are. Here. Do a savage sign, Kate. <laughs> yeah! Give me a high five. <laughs> Woo! I've been practicing that since kindergarten. Wow. You've been pract- You did not even know what a savage was. Savage. <laughs> Are you savage. a savage? Savage! Well, this is all for my video. Bye! Make sure to like and subscribe down below.